Just off the UK coast, amphibious assault ship HMS Bulwark propels landing craft into the ocean. Navy helicopters fly overhead as elite fighting force, the Royal Marines, storm a beach in a demonstration of capability. This large-scale amphibious exercise by the Royal Navy here off the South Cornish coast in southern England is largely in preparation for NATO exercise Trident Juncture. Britain are one of 30 nations to take part. Trident Juncture is one of the biggest NATO land, air and sea exercises in over a decade and HMS Bulwark is crucial to Britain's contribution. The ship is one of the UK's newest amphibious transport docks designed to put Royal Marines ashore by air and sea. So here on board at the moment I've got a ship's company of approximately 350. As it stands at the moment I've got about uh, 200 Royal Marines and additional forces embarked. Um, at the start of what is going to be a long autumn and winter of exercises to, to make sure that we are fully ready for any eventuality that uh, might come our way. HMS Bulwark recently took part in Operation Wield, which saw the ship and crew help rescue migrants from the Mediterranean. And the commander of the UK's amphibious task group says that exercises like Trident Juncture help nations work better together on humanitarian operations as well as conflict ones. Well, this is a real valuable opportunity for NATO. NATO, quite frankly, has been focused on Afghanistan rightly so, for the last decade or so. But we, in the maritime environment, are very used to operating with our, our NATO partners. When I was in the Mediterranean earlier this year, the reason that I could operate so easily with my Italian and uh, German counterparts is because we are very used to training, communicating, working together at sea. Trident Juncture will take place in Portugal, Italy and Spain. And while the exercise is designed to prepare NATO's high readiness forces to respond to threats from any direction, the crew aboard the HMS Bulwark have another reason to demonstrate a high level of capability. The main aim for uh, HMS Bulwark and for the Royal Navy is, um, is to act as a bit of a proving ground. Next year, uh, we as the UK take command of the NATO Response Force. Therefore, we've got to prove that we can operate at, um, at high readiness across a very large scale, interoperate with, um, with other navies, with other nations, uh, and deal with any eventuality that, um, that um, global activities might throw at us. So it's a very significant exercise. This is Jake Tupman from Plymouth, UK, for NATO Channel.